while scrolling social media i landed on this post from arduino and when i opened it it was about a book that can practically show how different logic gate works and i was like wow that's that's the right way of learning now that was available on kickstarter and when i went to pre order it it was showing the waiting till march 2022 means almost 4 months from now and then i thought why to wait when you can make so finally we made our own version of this book which has different pages for different logic gates and it's a perfect book to teach the young scientists about how the basic logic gate works and in this video i'm going to teach you everything that you need to know to make your own logic gate book let's get started this video is sponsored by ltm which is a pcb designer based software company now if i tell you one very interesting feature of the software then Here in Altium Designer you can design rigid flex PCB. Now what is that? So till now you must have designed the PCB which has like rigid like solid PCBs if you are not able to bend. But here in Altium you can design a PCB in which some of the parts are rigid solid and some of the parts are flexible which can bend and the PCB can you know uh, we can bend it in a two fold manner just like the modern day smartphone, right? So this is a really very interesting useful and unique feature of the software. Well you can also try out this and many other unique and interesting features of this designer software by just clicking on the link mentioned in the description yes by clicking on the link you'll get access to the free trial version of this software so go ahead try out the free trial version of ltm designer software so to make this project you'll need these all components and you need to connect them all according to this connection diagram and i wanted to make it a handy portable book like structure so i decided to go for a custom pcb for this project and after designing this pcb we gave its order directly to jlc pcb now ordering pcb is online made very convenient by jlc pcb in which you just need to upload the gerber file of the project select the color masking now this time i tried the new purple color And after selecting the color masking, you just need to pay for your order. Now, if you select the fastest delivery option, you may get the PCBs delivered to doorstep within a week. So try ordering your own custom designed PCBs from JLC PCB to make your projects look neat and more compact. Now, after getting the PCB, we shouldered all the components on it, and our final PCB looks like this: neat and handy. Also, the purple color looks really great in real. So that was all about the hardware part of the project. Now before jumping onto the coding part, let's just try to cover the packaging part of this project. So here we took this thin acrylic sheet to make the book and got laser cut all the holes for button, LED and LDR. After that, we binded all the sheets with the help of the tape to make it a book like structure. After that, we designed different gates on Photoshop and got them printed on a sticker paper. Now here you need to make sure that the last page will have all the three holes of LDR open. Then on the top we'll have two holes, then one, and then zero. So with the set of three LDRs, we can make a book containing four logic gates. And if we increase the number of LDRs, we may increase the number of logic gates, or we can say number of pages of the book. So after getting those sticker papers, we stick the gates on the respective pages, and also we attach the hardware part at the base of the book. Now before closing the base part, we first need to program our Arduino board. So now let's just jump on to the programming part. So here's the code for the logic gate books project and let us start uh, you know going through this code line by line uh, first of all we have declared the pins of the ldr button and led so we have used three ldrs and as mentioned here we can use three ldrs for four gates and if you want to increase the number of gates and pages you need to increase the ldr okay after that we have given two buttons as an input and we have used one led as an output indicator okay and after that we have just declared them input output here and we begin the serial monitor ln5200 board right okay straight after that here we are just reading uh, reading the analog values of the ldr sensor okay so first let's try to upload these uh, lines of code onto the arduino nano board just to check what values we are getting whenever the page is closed and whenever the page is open uh, so that we can sense the page opening and closing so i'll upload this code onto my arduino nano board and as you can see on the serial monitor i'm getting the readings of all the three ldr sensors okay so as soon as i open the page all the three ldr sensors are covered and i'm getting the values which are under 50 okay now as soon as i open the first page as you can see only one single ldr is open and on the ldr 
level 3 i am getting the values which are greater than 200 okay and similarly if i open the second page i am getting the values on two different sensors that is ldr2 and ldr3 okay so basically what i decided is let's just try to put a threshold value as 150 that means whenever the ldr value is less than 150 that means the page is closed and whenever the ldr value is greater than 150 that means the page will be opened okay so now let's just try to modify the code okay so here is that modified code and as you can see here i have declared one new variable called as ldr threshold which is set to 150 okay and after that here i have declared two uh, rather three boolean variables that will be you know sensing whether the ldr uh, respective ldr is on or or off or we can say open or close okay let's move uh, ahead with our coding part so here we are uh, just comparing the values of the respective ldr sensor and we are storing them inside the sense one variable so in case the ldr value is greater than the ldr threshold that particular variable will become one or or rather else it will become zero and similarly we did for all the three senses okay so now we have converted the analog values of the ldr into the digital values using these lines of code and here we are just comparing on which page we are so in case all the three sensors are in off condition that means we are on the first page and on the first page we have attached the not gate hence we are calling the not function here and we are also printing that in the serial monitor so inside the not gate we have only one single line of code which reveals that if the button is on we need to turn off the led and vice versa that's a simple line of code we have okay and in case only third sensor is active that means we are on the second page and on the second page we are calling the and function and inside the end function we are just comparing the status of two buttons so if both the buttons are pressed then and then only we need to turn on the led otherwise we need to turn it off okay similarly if two sensors are active we are on the third page we are calling the nor function or the nor gate and similarly, if th all the three sensors are active, we are calling the fourth page, which is nothing but the X not gate. Okay, now all the logic of the gates are written on the respective functions. So that's a simple line of code we have written for a logic gate books. And now what I'll do, I'll straight away upload this code onto the Arduino Nano board. And before you know completing the packaging part, let's first test this project or test this code in the working condition. Okay, so the code is successfully uploaded, and let's just test this not gate first. Okay, so as you can see, the LED turns off whenever we press the button and when we release the button, the LED turns on. So it's working fine. Okay, so now let's just test the next gate, which is the AND gate. Okay, so as you can see, the AND gate is also working completely fine. Okay, so that means the code and the logic part is perfectly working on our project. Now let's just continue with the packaging part. So after uploading the code and testing the project, we finally stick the base part of the book and after attaching the main cover image, our final book looks something like this. So that was our logic gate box for the beginner, which looks really neat and professional. And it was not at all possible without the help of these two persons, Ritesh and Kedar, who did really hard work on making this book a reality. So thank you so much, guys. Thank you for making this book a reality. So yeah, that was it about the logic gate books for the beginner. I hope you liked this video. If you did so, consider liking this video. Also, let me know in the comments about your suggestion regarding this particular book and uh, we also made the second version of the book which has some different gates on it so we have two books as of now <laughs> so yeah those were the two logic gate books if you ever want to try out these books you are welcome to the tech ASMR studios and also we are giving these pcbs for this project and for free along with the merchandise order so check out the link mentioned in the description to purchase the merchandise to get the pcb for free and now that being said i'm just ending this video here and now just Wait for more action to explore, learn, share with me, Techie SMS.